the story always starts when I get asked like your life story moments. The story starts with university. I studied hotel and food administration for four years and specialized in culinary tourism. For me, I planned to travel for um, a couple months and then it just kept on going. The biggest challenge in being a world traveler is funding it. So most people that want to travel that are really interested in that space are immediately say how do you afford it or how were you able to travel for three years that question was always asked to me and everyone comes up with their own story some people you know in university go during university and they do you know study abroad and go to you know are able to if they you know spend six months in Paris at a university on exchange they can then travel through different cities for me I wanted to get my university degree completed I didn't want to feel like I had still had obligations and then saved up a lot of money so throughout university I won several scholarships that paid for my education and and was able to save throughout the summer and the monies that I saved throughout the summer allowed me to then travel. The blog, once I moved to Toronto, became very food centric because I found culinary experiences and adventures to different restaurants and showcasing different neighborhoods of the city for me were the best way for a new person to a city because I'd never lived here to actually explore those things and tell stories through food. And then it kind of, as my audience grew and interest in my blog continued, it I started doing what you would do on a vacation or you know if you go to a certain city like Paris you may go to a ballet. Well I reviewed the ballet, I go to the opera, I go to World Stage, Buddies in Bad Time Theatre. And so I do theater reviews, I do fashion pieces, I, go, I get invited to events that are showcasing new products. All the kind of things that you would want to do or experience when you travel, I've been able to do while not having to live out of a backpack. The, the reason I live on the internet, and I say that in real time, is because the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed, and I'm on it. Like people don't text me, they send me a tweet. If they need to message me. People don't necessarily email me, they'll send me a Facebook message because they know that I answer that just as quickly. My advice would be to first, you have to find a, and create a platform of credibility. So whether that be an edu a formal education or you know some bloggers in the food space, for example, may work in a kitchen for five to 10 years and ha like have some credibility in the food space. Like why do people care about your opinions when you r go to a restaurant? Why is your opinion more important than that person's and why would someone want to read what you're doing? So it's really making and ensuring that everything that you are talking about and the brand that you're developing takes time. People don't really not often recognize how much like hours and hours and hours of work it is for an, an outcome that involves you know a meal. You really have to be passionate about what you're doing to slug it through to the point where you're then recognized as someone that people want to work with. And if you're dedicated and passionate about whatever you want to write about, then it's all worth the while.